Hello everyone, it's Lynn Archbold with our 30 days felt making tips. And today is day 21. And today um, we're going to talk how to recognize different fiber. We're going to talk how to recognize fiber you might have in your basket and you don't know or if you buy in fiber you know immediately yes this is flax this is mulberry silk this is 21 macron wool this is 19 okay i'm only going to talk about fiber common fiber and fiber which i use I cannot talk about different, so many different fibers, so many different fibers in felt making. I don't know if we're privileged or not, because in the end of the day, it's out of our pocket when we see all this fiber on website, but we don't have a clue. But because of colors, oh yes, I have to have, I must have. Is this sound familiar? That's how I used to operate. Yes, I like this color. Yes, I like. I must have it. Hi, Sue from Michigan. Hi, Regina from Sweden. Hi, Jillian from Oregon. Welcome, welcome everyone. Right, let's start to talk about merino wool. One fact for you. Do you know where initially Marina originates from which country and it's not New Zealand it's not Australia it's not South Africa lots of marina there now but it comes originally from Spain Spain and then marina traveled to other hot countries and climate which suits to this particular breed have you ever seen marina I saw in Australia, massive, massive, absolutely amazing animal. Marina wool. I use marina wool mainly. I use 18 and a half, 19 microns. Why do I use two number? Why I've just mentioned two numbers? Because it all depends where you buy. If you buy in England, it will be 18 and a half. If you buy in Europe, outside of England, it will be 19 macron, usually. The same with 21 or 22, it is the same wool, literally. So if you have, for example, this is merino wool, I know this is merino wool because it's soft, it's silky, yeah? Then I have another merino wool. This is merino wool too. How do I know? And I usually have only 18 and a half, 19, or around 22, 23 macron. How do I know which wool is which? Which one is 18 and a half, 19? Which one, 23? First of all, I usually close my eyes, you know, using my touching senses. I close my eyes and start to touch this wool. Immediately, you will feel the difference. When you open eyes, with open eyes, it's different. With closed eyes, you can sense. So this is more, green is more silky. It, you want to touch that wool all the time. This wool is soft, but it's it's not as soft and it's not silky like this one. So this is 20, this is 18 and a half, 19, and this is around 23 or 22, 23 macrons. This is the first. Second, length of um, fiber. Thicker fiber, bigger number, okay? So lengths of wool start from around 70, sorry, seven and a half centimeters, yeah? So, um, for example, um, Curridale can go up to 130. I don't remember all numbers, but thicker wool, thicker number. 
So this is 18 and a half macrons wool. So I'm going to pinch like that. Okay, I'm going, this is length of staple or length of fiber. And I'm going to pinch a wool coral color. Okay, and let's compare if they're the same. So very difficult to see. So, but if you look, I'm just going to mix and you can see by end. If you look, can you see orange slightly longer? Not big difference, but it is still longer. Okay, so our marina wool, 22-23 staple or length of fiber longer than finer marina wool that is second third during the layout when staple smaller or shorter length of uh, fiber it is easier to do a layout however because this wool finer that might just fly away <laughs> You know, you just need to be careful and do this layout very close to the table because by the time you pinch wool, by the time you put on your layout, it will fly. Look, it's already. Can you see what it's doing? It just, can you see? It's flying. So that's possibly number three. Number three um, characteristic and difference between these two marina wool otherwise you can see difference when you create if you experienced you will see the difference between 22 23 18 and half 19 macron wool in your uh, um, creation so this is about wool what about other fiber and today i, I want to touch uh, how many fibers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's enough for one evening. So, and I choose all of them white or cream. So let's talk first. Flux. We talked about flux last time. It's very distinctive fiber. It's quite um, tough or and thick fiber. And can you see staple is very strong, fiber is strong. You can separate, right? Strong fiber. To be honest, linen is very difficult not to recognize. When you start to work with linen, you will know this is linen. So this is linen. Another fiber. I not mentioned this fiber. I don't work a lot. I think I have quite a lot. It's time to start. This is cotton. This is where is uh, maybe you'll think is it cotton, or is it mud with coarse, or this is or bamboo. I forgot actually to bring bamboo. Just a second. So we'll talk more. I don't have white bamboo, but we'll talk about bamboo. So if we look at bamboo and this. Okay, bamboo, a little bit shinier, right? But cotton and bamboo, very similar in thickness. So if to compare two, bamboo and cotton, if it's silkier, this is a bamboo. Okay, cotton is totally dull, but it still has own use. You can create beautiful... Uh, <laughs> texture <laughs> lena forgot her favorite word with this you can put even on uh, on top of cotton a little bit of silk to bring shine yeah so cut uh, uh, sorry this is cotton this is flax and i'm sorry through screen maybe not noticeable but you still can see the difference and bamboo uh, it's to be honest when you put three fibers even it's pink you can see more shine on bamboo yeah uh, so let's see what else we have sorry fiber i'm eating fiber now 
<laughs> Sorry about that. The next fiber I want to touch is, um, and now it's come out. I forgot. <laughs> That's happened to me. Um, I come back to this. I forgot the name. Typical. Uh, the next fiber, let's look into viscose and then that name come back to me uh, because this is also viscose made with eucalyptus. I wonder if anyone knows what made with eucalyptus or oh, I will be checking. I don't know if it's come out. Sorry. Is that just embarrassing? <laughs> um, viscose. So let's look now, compare viscose and bamboo. Both shiny, both shiny uh, fibers. This fiber, viscose, it's not Remy, it's not Tusa Silk. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at um, answers. It's not, and um, I will double check before, before we'll say goodbye to each other. So this is viscose. Okay, this is uh, bamboo, shiny boss, give good texture. Bamboo is heavier than viscose. It's heavier fiber, okay? And to be honest, again, great texture. I do not use bamboo to laminate because it adds weight, unless you need thicker item, okay? Um, in terms of layout for, for fiber lamination, I still think bamboo is less, uh, more difficult. It's, um, it's uh, still, or maybe because I get used to, to work with cores. So try, can you see how with cores fluff? Can you see what happening? But that stays together, sticking together. Okay. So that's with cores. If we compare with course with um, so we have tusa silk here can you see the same color tusa silk comes in uh, actually a few beautiful natural colors uh, from white to brown i don't know uh, it's wild silk i think i mentioned and it originates from uh, uh, india so it depends what more depends of most food diet. I mean, color depends on most diet. Okay. So this is uh, mulberry, uh, sorry, Tusa silk. Tusa silk is quite fluffy silk. Yeah. It's really fine, very fine silk. It is finer than viscose. In terms of shine, I think viscose more shiny then Tusa silk. I have white Tusa silk here as well. So this is white Tusa silk. Okay. It's fine. It separates really nicely. Look. Finer than viscose. And in terms of shine, maybe similar. I still think viscose shinier than Tusa silk. Yeah, so Tusa Silk, and I'm still thinking about the name, fiber made of eucalyptus, just I can't believe myself, it happens. And the next fiber, the most expensive, Mulberry Silk. How do I know that Mulberry Silk? First, first is Mulberry Silk comes in very thin robin. Always, mulberry silk is thicker than uh, um, Tusa silk, and mulberry silk has very long tans, uh, length of fiber. Longest, I think, in comparison to fiber which I had on my table. So it is very silky, silky, very silky uh, fiber. A name come back to me. It's tensile. Anybody mentioned tensile? Yes, Jan just mentioned tensile. Thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. Anybody else mentioned tensile? I'm just wondering. You know, I, I just sometimes I just block <laughs> memory block. Uh, I can't see any tensile anymore. 
So fantastic, John. Well done. Uh, in terms of um, mulberry silk, as I said, very fine in terms of uh, rowing. That's very easy to uh, to um, actually mix up with tensel. Tensel very shiny too. Okay, but tensel comes in thicker rowing. Okay, and it's when you touch tensel and mulberry silk you can see the difference absolutely ryan is another and high another fiber i don't have here ryan but i think ryan it's in thickness will be similar to cotton but it's sh slightly shinier so that's basically all i wanted to say and um, what else yeah so so let's recap we talk about our marina wool we know three major right um sorry three major difference between 18 and half 19 22 23 yeah well just basically lens of lens of staple slightly 22 23 slightly longer and this is silk here you know i could sit and do this all the time it's really really therapeutic really nice uh this is nice too but it's not as soft i would say uh, we remember that lens of staple um so sorry we, rem we remember that thicker wool longer staple this is the rule usual rules yeah uh in terms of this is very common uh, very easy to recognize we know now it's linen or flux flux and linen the same and the second fiber very uh, dual in terms of no shine uh, thick not not as thick as uh, flux and this is cotton and we know cotton is not shiny yeah so uh, tensel is viscose but it's made of eucalyptus and it is shinier than viscose it is also heavier than viscose it is very similar in uh, weight to um, bamboo but it is shinier than bamboo just to you know <laughs> <laughs> just to confuse us yeah and my favorite viscose very light quite light shiny don't forget viscose can be matte and shiny we talked about this last time to the silk is just you want to touch all the time and some people who don't like to say use the mulberry silk for particular reason use don't mind to use to the silk because that moss does not die. I mean, you know, the process, how they create mulberry silk. I'm not going to go through this, yeah? So that's all I wanted to say. I hope it's useful. I don't know, if, have you noticed I'm wearing my scarf? <laughs> I do like to wear like this around my neck. It's warm and it's cozy. And you can wear this scarf any way. And this class I'm editing tonight tomorrow and uh, it should be ready on monday for you okay so that's all for tonight and i'm looking for new topics this topic was suggested in my group tonight today and i thought right let's do it i want to do one topic on how i choose colors next week so we still have what nine topics nine days and let's see what else we can do after that nice days of 30 days felt making tips so uh let's i want to go through the chat and say hello to people who have not said hello yes hi erica from norway i bet it's very cold it's very cold in newcastle really cold and i think it makes worse when there is no snow and cold and windy uh, hi Lida. Hi, Cassie from Canada. Definitely called in Canada. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing. 
I'm from Ukraine and uh, cli Ukrainian climate very similar to Canadian climate. We have hot summers and extremely cold winters, very distinctive seasons, beautiful autumn and very mild spring. So I guess that's very similar, Cassie, am I right? Hi, Ida. Hi, Anne from Netherlands. Hi, Sarah from Scotland. Um, uh, Ali saying thank you for this. I'm late, but still st will study. Repeat. Yes, please. Hi, Nicole from 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 Nova Scotia, Canada. Hi. So yes, Jan said it's stencil. Thank you, Jan. Um, ah, Jan googled. You don't need to tell us your secrets, <laughs> you guessed. <laughs> but thank you for googling. Thank you so much. Uh, Lynn, you like my fiber fiber packs. Are you talking about fiber packs which I sell? Um, I do like them too, and uh, I did not have intention to create colors. And then a few people ask me, "Can you put colors together for us?" That's where it's coming from. Um, uh, thank you. I love seeing my scarf. It is it is nice and beautiful. Thank you, Liz. Hi, Maggie. Uh, thank you. I love scarf. <laughs> you know, I spent time to make, to film class while making this. You never know when, you know, when I uh, film class and you just hope it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But, you know, just making, you talking, you thinking you're watching camera you're watching door in case of my children get in so many times they came in so now they just look okay mom filming they're not allowed so yes yeah, this is just great <laughs> thank you lynn from durham thank you durham is not far from me i just what 15 minutes there lynn which is brilliant uh and saying uh, fabric use Oops, just gone. Fabric used, different fabric used for scarves like silk, cotton, cheese, color, cloth, margulan. Okay, good topic. Thank you. We talk about cotton already. Did I talk about silk? I don't remember. I need to check what I talked during this uh, Facebook Live. I'm going to check. Yes, fantastic. Thank you for suggestion. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day or evening or morning. Depends where you are in the world. I'm back to my editing of <laughs> videos. Thank you. Have a great time. Bye.